Good morning and welcome to another episode from Yorkshire Outdoorsman. The day has finally arrived everybody, it's finally arrived. It's now the 14th of April 2021 and we are out of lockdown, thank heavens. So today is going to be our maiden voyage or maiden trip in the camper van. So we're going to have a couple of days down at uh, Flamborough at the caravan park that we used to uh, use when we had the caravan, which was um, Grange Holidays. Yeah. So it's about nine o'clock-ish now. Um, we can't get on the campsite until three o'clock. Don't ask me why. What a stupid rule that is. Um, but anyway, we're going to be setting off shortly. The only problem is, unfortunately, is that with a camper van, or at least one this size is that once you're parked up that's it you can't go anywhere else so we're having to go in separate vehicles for that reason so that i'm going to take my car so that we can get around uh, and get up to uh, to do some fishing hopefully so i'll be traveling in my car mark will be traveling in the camper van and we'll have uh, two-way radios between us so we can at least communicate and uh, that's the plan bit of fishing and a bit of whatever else happens so thanks for joining us hope you enjoy the video i'm sure we'll, in, we'll enjoy the uh, the break yeah, from the be, madness yeah it's going to be interesting yes as you gather the camper van is finally completed uh, we'll take you for a guided tour a quick tour of what we've done and uh, and how it's going to work follow me very quick tour fridge it's other side at wall, that's your inlet for your airflow. That's your gas outlet for your gas. For your gas. <laughs> for your heat. You've got your water inlet which goes in there, basically like a caravan, you plug it in, you put your water there and it's it sucks your water up through that. That's the mains camping hookup, plug in there, obviously self-explanatory. That's the car they heater, it was white but I did it black to match the rest of the camper van. Um, warning stickers fitted with two new rear lights or your appropriate, that's my favourite one there, appropriate stickers. Uh, four, four brand new tyres fitted on the back. These wheels, uh, tw it's a twin wheeler and they say you can't fit wheel trims to these twin wheelers without paying like £300 for stainless steel ones. However, they do fit. Um, this is a, If anybody's got one like this, they do fit. You can get them to fit. If you get the correct size, they fit on no problem and they stay on. I've done 70 mile in it and testing, you know, testing the van and they've never come off, so they do fit. And these small hubcap things on the front, um, which is obviously the same colour, sprayed them the same colour. Right, take a walk inside. There's the um, dump station. Dump station, and it's a little bit low. This one, I got the box, the the, the tray, the um, yeah, the toilet is too small. The what they call it, capture tank. So I built a box which goes lays down, and then that goes on top to heighten it up a bit. In here, we have food compartments with a little thing to stop things coming out. You've got your three-way fridge, a bin. Um, which is sounds silly, but it's screwed down so it doesn't fall over. But it's got bags in it, so you just take bag out. You've got your cupboard with your plates and your cups, etc. Carbon monoxide detector. This is an extra piece, what you've probably not seen. Ignore the toilet paper, that's just... Um, bump food. Bump, yep. Yeah. This was in a scrapyard, um, in a work van. And I thought, that'll come in very handy, so I fitted it in here. Went in straight away, extra storage space. Yep. Um, you've seen all lightings and things. Um, cool red drawer. Gas bottles and whatnot in there with a grass, grass, a gas drop vent. Um, falling off in the water containers. You've got your four burner hob, as you've already seen. Your cooker. And this is going to be, these are for travelling, so I don't have to move them. I think you've seen most of this anyway. Um, you've got your TV, which is on a swivel bracket up there. And in here is my solar 
So we've got a big solar panel on the roof. Now that's different to, to the last that, one. The last one, a, yeah, I updated it. That's been updated, hasn't yep. it? Yeah. Which comes with two USBs for your phones, so your phones can go in this little cubby hole and charge your phones up, and that's your voltage of your batteries. So you, you can obviously see what uh, your capacity is like. You can't really use this for storage because it, there's too much going on in that cupboard. Um, there's a little storage one in here. Um, this is a seat where you sit on like this. <laughs> I think that's it. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah. One other thing I could like to add is there was a problem with the engine, which has not been on the um, the video. Um, we had a bad smoking issue with the engine. It was really unstable. I changed the turbo, the, the injectors, and everything what you could possibly change before the engine, and I couldn't get to the bottom. So I ended up putting a new engine in it with only 120,000 mile. I fitted a brand new diesel pump, brand new EGR valve, and a brand new turbo. So the engine and everything else is should be bang on. Right, let's uh, have a coffee, make a plan of action, and go. And go. There it is. about halfway there we've got about 30 miles to go or something like that um, we've just stopped in a lay by and there's a little bit of an oil leak on the van so we're a bit concerned about that but, um, we'll uh, we'll have to see how that one pans out Right, so we've just stopped again, just to have another quick check of this oil leak. How's it looking? I can smell it. Um, it looks like it's coming from timing chain cover or back at um, yeah, pulley wheel. But I can see it. I can see it where it's dripping. It's like it's like on bottom, it's not top of the sun. Where yeah. Something's to end, but also at front, at front to end. It's all right in here, isn't it? What one of these? What? One of them or a normal coffee? Oh, whatever, what are you making? I'll have another one of these. You look like one's back in Notre Dame. Yeah. You've got to smell like that. <laughs> That's my sweet problem. Well, it's ten to five. Um, we've been here since uh, three o'clock. We've been into Bridlington. Um, had a look round. Um, very, very quiet. Very, very, very quiet, quiet, yeah. Really quiet. So quiet, in fact, that bait shop didn't have any bleeding bait for us. <laughs> so, so so that's put kibosh oh, on um, fishing tonight at uh, off the pier, off uh, Arbor Wall.
Eat Proper some, breakfast. Look, look at them boats there, Paul. Why's it gone light? It's only a tiny little thing, whatever it is. It's a summer. <laughs> yep. What have we got? <laughs> Tap. It's come off, whatever it is. It's come off. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Caught some squid. Massive, isn't it? That massive, yeah. Another, it swallowed up all the way down like last one did, though. Another two or three of them, and with the fella just in corner at mouth, that's lovely. Dead right. Oops. Come on, fella. There you go. <laughs> Little cock. <coughs> We'll cut that bit out. Wow. I felt heavier than that. The whole line up to me. Yeah. You was that in it? It is. I thought it felt one of the guns. another one. Well I've had a pretty good day so far. Um, I just want to give a shout out to, to Kit Gallagher um, who we've just bumped into. He's another YouTuber who likes his fishing so go and check him out. Uh, give him some uh, some thumbs up. Um, he's started fishing on uh, on YouTube as well um, so we bumped into him today. It was nice to see you. Good on you mate. Best of luck with your uh, fishing videos. Pull him a little bit, but oh, he's still, what do you see it bouncing? Yeah. Still, um, that seems a bit better. Oh, there you go, it's a bit more like it. It's a bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, he's still looking on. Nice.
Yeah, I can see hooks over all night with these pliers. Right, we'll show you at release. Nice one. Double edge. Hello, fella. <laughs> oh, tiddler. Two. It's all a few. They're all fish, though, aren't they? They all count. It's a long way down on this side, but never had any problem going back, have we? Right, let's get this one out, and then uh, jobs are good. And so the sun sets on our little adventure. <laughs>